Welcome guys. In this video, we will see how can we sort uh, images with and without photos. Uh, for example, you can see in this folder we have several photos. Some photos are with uh, face and some are without any faces. So how can we sort this? Uh, let's see. There is a Python program. So here is the Python program. We are using OpenCV for face detection and uh, these are OS is built in module shuttle is also built in module the open CV is uh, external module installed for Python module okay so let's see how this code works I will explain uh, this code will simply detect faces and uh, the photos with no faces will will be uh, will be moved outside this test folder okay so let's run this program. Yes, the program is running now. So as you can see, it started working and uh, the photos with without faces are coming out of the test folder. Okay. While it's running, we will see the code. So this line is just uh, getting the current work directory. We will change the directory to the test folder. Getting the path name into a new path variable. This photos. And this is uh, we are getting the photo name array as photos. Okay. We are using the face cascade XML file provided by OpenCV. Uh, this face cascade is, is uh, frontal face detection. It detects uh, direct front front face uh, in a photo. Okay. So for each photo in the photo array, I am uh, this this line is uh, just to joining the photo name with a number. So as you can see here, see this number with the image name. Okay, this photo path is we are taking uh, that this we are joining this path D correct and test with the file name uh, to get the total uh, total path of that photo. Let's see the photo path. Uh, just printing that photo path so image image is uh, that open cv is reading the image of this path with this photo path this is the path and uh, this is the method so uh, to reduce the uh, what is this uh, processing time i'm scaling the images to 20 percent because my photos are very high resolution so I'm reducing the width and no, so actually I'm calculating the width by getting the image shape uh, in uh, X direction and Y direction. So in Y and X something. So height, okay. So, though, uh, so I have to reduce the image to this final dimension width height. So this is reduced image. So I'm resizing the image to this specified dimension and this is the method of reducing the image so I'm converting image into grayscale image this is the command okay so this is the detected faces array if any faces were detected it will add to the faces array this is to get how many faces are found in one single photo okay if a photo consists of two faces that num face will become two it is length of the faces array okay if num face is zero when there is no face detected 
the length uh, uh, that this array is zero there were no values in this array and then that length of that face will become zero uh, then i am moving using shuttle shuttle module see in shuttle we are moving the image out of the te test folder with this uh, path just by giving the original path and the uh, destination path so this i i is just for in increment of this uh, incrementing the image number okay just for incrementation of that image number so there are 137 images That, that the process is completed the process is completed let's see what happened in the folder so as you can see guys there are the photos with no faces came out of the folder with some exceptions i think there is a, the face detection need to be improved uh, this is the original folder. Uh, look here, you can see, except some some cases, all the photos are with yeah faces. So, so this is how we can uh, start the images with uh, by looking at the faces. Thank you guys.